Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is the uh, chapter 2 uh, in the series of videos uh, on the bioinformatics and in this chapter 2 I want to focus on that how most of the people uh, they use the uh, bioinformatics and the tools that are associated with the bioinformatics so the first thing I want to focus on is uh, on PubMed like what is PubMed and how you can become an instant expert uh, with PubMed. Now think about the following situation. Uh, you just got the sequence of the gene you have been working on for years and you gave it to the uh, local specialist in bioinformatics to analyze it for you. The answer you get from the bioinformatician is that you may be dealing with the Mac A. Now this Mac A, like the good news is that your gene actually resembles something uh, and you may have the beginning of a story but the bad news is that you have never heard the term mac a in your entire life so how to deal with this term mac a and how to get useful information about the mac a then so where do you go from here the bioinformatician have told you you are dealing with the mac a but uh, what uh, or where do you go from the uh, information that you get from the bioinformatician how do you find out more about this seemingly uh, obscure term with the strange spelling and how do you quickly decide whether this story makes any sense in the context of what you already know about your gene or uh, about the scenario that you're dealing with. So if you want to find out the information about this Mac A protein, the best place to go is to PubMed. So what is PubMed? If you talk about the uh, PubMed, the uh, PubMed is a free search engine of references and abstracts on life sciences and biomedical topics. So the PubMed is actually focusing on the references and abstract on the topics that you see in the life sciences and in the uh, biomedical sciences. Now, the United States National Library of Medicine uh, at the National Institute of Health maintain this PubMed database is part of the entrance system of information retrieval. So the PubMed is actually uh, working under the uh, Institute or uh, the National Institute of Health USA and that is giving you uh, references and abstracts on the life sciences and on the uh, biomedical topics. Now the PubMed Central, uh, it is actually a bit different than the PubMed. So most of the uh, students or most of the individuals, uh, sometimes they uh, confuse the PubMed with the PubMed Central. But these two, they are a little bit different from each other. Now the PubMed Central, uh, for short that is known as the PMC, it is actually a free digital repository that archives open access full text scholarly articles that have been published in biomedical and life sciences. So the major difference between the PubMed and the PubMed Central is that PubMed is going to give you abstracts of these articles. The PubMed Central is going to give you the uh, open access full text scholarly articles when they are available. So you can uh, actually have uh, or you can download or you can read the uh, full access or full text papers in the PMC. You can only study the uh, abstracts in the uh, PubMed. That means if you are interested in finding out the function of a particular protein you have to go to PubMed. How PubMed works I'll focus on that in uh, my next video and how this PubMed can be useful. So if you like this video please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with your friends.